Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I want to show you how to do a fall rainbow. And what I mean by a fall rainbow, you can see you know all the, whoops, this way, all the changing in the color and uh, very simple but I'm going to show you how that I get the tear up edge there but really it's just one piece of paper. This one I embossed it with the square lattice and this one I didn't and I was asking the girl which one they like better and it was about 50-50. I think I like the one without the embossing just because you see more of the work. So I'm going to show it you closer with that's the embossing and this is the non-embossing. So let's get started. And this is the swap I'm doing for Founder Circles. So I'm doing over 120. So if I can do that many, I'm sure you guys can do one. Because look at the pile. I just have to put the button and the greeting on it. What I'm going to do, because I put it on uh, early espresso for the base of my card. You're going to start with a piece of 4 by 5 and a quarter. This is vanilla. 4 by 5 and a quarter in vanilla. I just ripped two pieces of paper of cardstock, and it's even better if you get the post it note. I didn't have any on end that was long enough, so I'm using just cardstock. And I'm going to put that here. I put the temporary glue in the bag. I know Stamping Up don't sell that anymore, but I still add some. So, And I put that, um, do my, where, how wide you want. You can do as wide as you want or as little as you want. But uh, after you put your paper, then you, we're done for sponging. I'm using, first one, it's uh, old olive, more mustard, pumpkin pie, and Cajun craze. I'm going to start, start with um, old olive and I put plenty of pressure and you can go as light as you want or as dark as you want. Next one it's more mustard and that's why I call it the fall rainbow because it's fall color and it's not really the the color of the rainbow but it's the fall one and if you wonder why my paper is already a mess and all it's because that like I said I I did a hundred and twenty and I was on my last one last night and I'm like oh I should do a video and now I do pumpkin pie and I overlap a little bit so it's finished smooth and then over here I'm going to do Cajun craze and you see I just rub back and forth so then you get a smooth finish and a lot of time it don't look good till you do your stamping so now on this for the background I'm using the words in the French foliage this is the set the French foliage and I'm using the words for just a background and I'm going to stamp that very offset sideways. Then I'm using the leaves and um, again French foliage, but this time it's in early espresso. You can put more a little. Another one that worked great for that, it's gently falling. And I think on those one, like this, I use the little pine cone and the bigger leaves. So you can use whatever you want. After I'm done with that, peel this up. If you get a little bit of residue of the uh, glue, just use your glue eraser. That's my best buddy when I do stuff like that. Then I'm going to take my glue, put the glue back in there, center this on my card front here, and <clears throat> I, excuse me, I used the summer uh, star fruit, um, the ribbon. <coughs> I'm sorry, I get something tickling in my throat. And I just crisscross it on those uh, brush uh, bronze button in the holiday mini. Then I use the fabulous, it's not fabulous. It is the wording, yeah, fabulous phrase. I use the gratitude and I punch a bunch of that and then I'm going to just cut it here and do a little peek. You can always use your uh, corner punch like that if you don't know what I mean by the corner punch. I would use my one inch punch. Oh, 
that's not it. This is the bigger one. I will find it. Here we go. The one inch punch. And then you just, that's too long. You just go in the corner of the punch. And voila. You can do that. So then you get the perfect uh, thing. I would use the Cajun craze and just add a little bit of color on this. A little bit of sponging. I'm going to glue this right here. Try to put that straight a bit. Then I would use two glue dots. And one glue dot, I think for those big buttons, it's not kind of enough. So I use two to three glue dots for those big buttons. And then I'm going to take my buttons and put it right here. Voila! That is it. That's how I get oops, the rainbow looking for the uh, this fall card. Like I said, it almost looked like I rip a piece of paper on top, but it's just right straight on the vanilla. This is it, my friend. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping!